What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back. Today we are doing another coding challenge. This is your host, Rafi Kazi from Clever Programmer. And we are going to jump into the reverse slicing challenge. We just completed Aardvark, or you should have completed it. And today's coding challenge is reverse slicing challenge. So let's see how this one works. Look, they're telling you slicing, it's like, um, you know, you can think of it like cutting things. And in Python and code, if you are given a list of things, you can slice and pick and choose whichever one you want. Okay. So let's say you got apple, banana, bread. You could just slice by one and pick up the, uh, you know, the banana or slice by two and get the bread or slice by zero and get the apple. Okay. So it's very simple and I'll show you what I mean by that. Here, as you can see, they have some of these code that some of this code actually right up on the top. And as you can see where they have, you know, like a list with first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, they're slicing it from zero to three, which means from first, second, third, fourth, but it only goes from first to third, as you can see right here. Okay. And then in this example where they say list start from three and go up until forever. What that will get for you is it'll start from zero, one, two, three, the fourth guy. So the fourth element in the list and go all the way up to six and more. Right. And that's what's happening here. Now, what if we were given something we are given a function called reverse string. And what we have to do for this guy is if you give it arc, it should bring back gra, G-R-A. And if you give it something like high, it should return high in reverse. So how would you do that? Learn actively, code right below this video. If you're on my website, you should be able to code it right below. You don't even have to open up your own Python and come up with your own solution. And as you can see on my screen, the solution for this is actually, you know, uh, quite simple. So let me explain. Let's say I give you something like the string hello, right? Now, if I gave it to you from zero to two, what would you get? You would get H and the E. That's it. So what if I gave it to you? So I instead of starting from H, what if I wanted to start from the E? Well, I could say start from one and I could do this to say go for forever, right? Now, what if I wanted to, so remember it's start, stop, and then step. What if I change the number of steps? So let's say I did this. I just kept this default, the middle one, which is stop. So basically we're saying don't stop, keep going forever. Whoops. And then for, uh, for step, I'm saying step by two, which means every other one. And you can see you'll get back. You can see you'll get back H, L, and O. Because if you start from hello and you take out every other character, you take out the H, then you take out the L, then you hop over and you take out the O. What if I wanted to walk backwards? Well, the solution for that, if you haven't tried it, here's a spoiler. We put negative one. And what this does is it says walk backwards. Okay. That's the simplest way to understand it. We just say walk backwards, negative one. And so we just go here, we go boom. And in Python, this is like a super easy way to do it. And boom, look at this. We said print reverse string arg. We got back gra the top here. And on line 15, we said hi, and we got back the reverse of that. So, that is amazing, you guys. We were able to solve this challenge. It was very easy, especially if you are, you know, somebody at Clever Programmer who's been going through the courses. This should be easy for you. But my goal is to make this easier for everybody who's new. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're new to this website, welcome. But if you've already been here and you're one of the Clever Programmers, right, this should be a review for you and this should be a way for you to test your skills and don't just go, ah, oh, I already know this. Just walk away. You know, you're too cool for school. This is below you. 
a lot of you guys I work with and there's really simple things that you guys might get stuck on. And to be honest, I get stuck on simple things too, which is why I take the time out every day to practice even really simple things. That's why when I'm coding, I'm coding at the speed of light. People are like, how are you doing that? Well, I just made more mistakes than you did. And it was the, the, the simple reason is that I just keep practicing it relentlessly. So even if it's something looks like it's below you, perfect. Take that time to challenge yourself and crush that challenge rather than be lazy, sit on your couch and just hit skip or next video, okay? So actively learn, actively engage. That's the reason for this entire channel, okay? I want you to communicate, actively engage. Post it in the comments below if you're on YouTube. Post in the comments below your solution if you're on my website. And if you are on my website, you'll be able to code right there as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video.